Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and welcome to the Tuesday Night World's Early Bird Edition. As ever, organised by James Gill. We're following him at the minute. As you can see, the riders have rolled out and he appears to be doing some sort of sheepdog herding just to make sure that everyone's together and everyone's sticking to the right power. So we're looking for the riders to start at two watts per kilo. So hopefully everybody stays together. A couple of riders in front of him as he makes his way back to the front of the pack. Exciting race tonight. We've got over 290 riders online. And as you can see in this group here, there are a lot of riders taking part in the Tuesday night world. It's just growing in popularity and every week it seems to get more and more riders. Groups are filling up from A, B, C, D, and I think possibly we might have some E riders. So let's have a look who's in there at the minute. Riders that we've seen before, new riders that we haven't. Thompson's in there from Great Britain. Otten, the German, he was up there last week. As ever, the Dane PK, he's up there. O'Brien from Ireland. Tanner, the Canadian. Ganderton, and you can see already that riders are having to use power-ups just to get back onto the group. And there's riders here from the B group, from the D group, who are still trying to catch on or could be already getting dropped in the neutralized section. So the reason the pace is a little bit higher than usual today is we have our first preem on a Tuesday Night Worlds. Um, thanks to our sponsor loftandshove.com, you can check their website out. There is a $25 preem for the first rider to the top of the first KOM this week. There's also prizes for first, second and third overall finish. So it's all to play for, and there's a little more incentive than usual. It's more than just bragging rights this week. What we haven't got, I noticed, is a team from Belgium. And there's about four riders involved in that team. Couple of A riders, B riders, and C riders. But as you can see, once the race got underway, a group formed at the front. There was at least 25 to 30 riders in this group, and the pace was full on right from the start and this was all down to this first preem. Everybody wanted to get involved and everybody was willing to sacrifice their overall. Well not everybody but a lot of them were ready to sacrifice their overall. And guess what? It was that man Jay Templar from the Netherlands. He took off up the road and at first I, I I, I thought it was a team attack. Him and PK both went up the road and no one was able to keep with them. They just blitzed it and I thought this might have been a tactic that they were going to try and they were going to team try, team try, team time trial it all the way to the end. But that wasn't the case and obviously they were fighting for the KON Prime at the top of this hill. Templar led it out all the way. PK did a great job to chase him down and right on the line... It was PK that took the victory. So the $20 from Loft and Shove goes to PK. Excellent race to the top. And as you can see in third place, another Dutch rider in Bobink. He beat the French rider Alexis Luge. So it was a great race for the Prem. But as you'll see later in part two of my coverage, that that effort took a little more out of PK than it did of Templar. So if you want to see how the rest of the race unfolded, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can get that notification as soon as that new video drops.